Well, canine distemper, also called distemper or carriage disease, is an infectious disease caused by a virus, specifically a paramyxovirus. It is a very contagious virus, although we have the advantage that, for example, unlike the parvovirus, it is not as resistant in the environment. So, if you perform a thorough disinfection, it is a virus that is comparatively easier to eliminate with the disinfectants that we can typically utilize in our household. It makes bleach, it makes ammonia, it makes almost any disinfectant you use in your regular cleaning, almost certainly that will work. The severity or incidence of the disease will primarily be associated with three factors. The initial factor is the development of the immune system. Hence, it is a much more common ailment in puppies given that their immune system is less developed. It will depend logically in the same way and manner on the age of the dog. The capability of an older or more mature dog to endure the illness is not identical to that of a smaller dog. And thirdly, it will depend on the duration of the manner in which the disease manifests itself and how it presents. That is, there are various ways of presenting the disease we'll discuss in future videos. Subscribe to the channel if interested in this temper topic because we'll talk a lot in the coming days and I'll explain different forms, nervous, ocular, respiratory, etc. However, returning to the primary question that attempts to address this brief video, I must inform you that particularly in young dogs, the illness from the time the animal becomes infected, that is, from the moment it becomes infected until the initial symptoms manifest, what is referred to as the incubation period is a very brief period of three to four days. And in the event that we fail to offer timely treatment, the occurrence rate of puppy deaths is significantly elevated, meaning the average lifespan of a puppy impacted by distemper. If we do not react promptly, that is, if we do not take him quickly to the clinic to receive a treatment that will not cure the virus, the treatments that are administered to the virus in the clinic, what they will do is alleviate the symptoms. That is, we are going to rehydrate the puppy, we are going to stop the diarrhea, we are going to provide him with some serum that aids his defenses in combating the disease. But if you don't do anything, if you don't do anything, the puppy, in a maximum of three, at most four days, he is going to die. And well, what about adult dogs? Well, teething obviously can also happen in adult dogs. In adult dogs, the animal already has a more capable immune system to cope with the disease. And obviously, as I have mentioned previously, it is not only that it will have its own immune system, but it will also exhibit different forms of the disease, unlike the puppy that focuses on the appearance of green mucus with crusts and experiences a very rapid respiratory collapse. Dogs have the potential to develop a nervous form that is highly lethal, as I will explain in the upcoming videos. In addition to a respiratory form, there is also an ocular form that is not as severe and can be managed more effectively, and so on. In these cases, I cannot give you as clearly as in puppies how long it will last, because it will depend a lot on the form of the disease that your dog has. However, in any case, with the exception of the nervous form, which, if not treated very early, has a very high mortality rate even in adults, both the respiratory forms and the ocular form can be quickly cured or more or less effectively treated in about two, maximum three weeks, depending on the severity of the condition and the individual's response to treatment.